I think the 10 baggers are few and far between. It's difficult to find those in any market, you know, and uh, I would say that it's, uh, you know, I think it's, it's a treasure hunt to do that. So I'm not a market timer. And I think that there are undervalued businesses at all times. It's just that the, you know, the geographies and the industry and different things kind of change. So there's a book that I really like, which came out many years ago called Trend Watching. It was written by Ron Insana. Uh, he, was, he used to be an anchor at CNBC and usually news anchors are not good writers, but Ron Insana did a good job. So that book chronicles a wide number of bubbles. It's just a you know story of all these different bubbles around the world at different times. And what you come out after reading that book is that bubbles have exist all the time in different markets, different asset classes, different geographies, different industries. You know, it's just part of the human experience. Humans vacillate between fear and greed. And so you will get some areas of the markets which are ridiculously overvalued at times. And you, at the same time, you can also get markets which are deeply undervalued, all of the above. So when I look at markets today, usually it's difficult to tell when you're in a bubble. It's It becomes a lot easier to tell in hindsight. But some things in my mind are clearly bubble-esque, right? So if I look at, you know, the market caps of GameStop or AMC or Bitcoin, you know, I would put these in bubble territory, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, when you say that about Bitcoin, you're committing blasphemy, but such is life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Any eggs thrown cannot get to me through the video, so it's okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so I think that we always have uh, some areas where you can clearly tell there's a bubble. And it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that whether I'm right or wrong on Bitcoin is not relevant if I am not long or short. It's irrelevant whether I'm right or wrong. What I what really matters is, am I right on the things that we actually invest in? So it is not clear to me that we are in bubble territory in large swaths of the market. I think it's clear to me that there is pockets of the market that are bubble territory, but it is also clear that we are not in value territory with uh, large U.S. tech or large Chinese tech and so on. I don't, those are really exceptional businesses, but you also are paying up to own those businesses. So uh, they may work out well, uh, they may not. It's kind of hard to tell, but I don't think those are in public territory. They just may not be deeply discounted. So I think the... Approach is a treasure hunt. There are like 50,000 businesses around the world and they all have different things going on with them every day. And a company can hit an air pocket or a headwind, which is very temporary. And the market takes it out back and shoots it. And uh, you should pay attention to that. 